Hi, I'm Christy Titus, and thank you for joining me today for this episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. During hunting season, it can take days or weeks sometimes to locate the animal that you're pursuing, and oftentimes you only have a couple of seconds to make a successful shot. Knowing your limitations before you head a field will help you determine what is ethical for each hunting situation. Today, for the sake of this drill, I'm not gonna demonstrate the prone position, but you wanna keep in mind that prone really is the ultimate for stability in shooting positions. When you practice these drills at home, you're gonna gain confidence and you're gonna know what works for you, how to construct those positions quickly, and how to get the most support possible from each position given the equipment you have and any natural terrain features. Shooting from the standing position is definitely the most difficult position to gain stability from. When you shoot from the standing, you know, you're gonna use something like a natural tree branch to help support your position, a fence post, um, or if you're like me and you wanna pack a tripod around uh, to build a quick shooting position, I highly encourage that too. Um, but this bag does a lot of things for you. First of all, when you set it down, it's going to create a soft surface that you can set your rifle on. And the main thing that that's going to really help you do is recoil control. And the other thing it's going to do is going to kind of flatten out your shooting surface. So two things really positive to have. The other thing you want to keep in mind is a lot of people want to put the balancing point of the rifle kind of far forward. And what this does is it puts a lot of weight on the back of the rifle. Um, what I recommend doing is you actually balancing the rifle more towards um, where your magazine inserts into your action. And this is gonna give you a more centered balancing point. Your body is gonna influence the rifle less after you've done this, trying to create a really nice wide triangle with your body and then getting behind the rifle and shouldering. And at this, I can make my shot, no problem. I blew the target off the thing. Well, I definitely got the first round hit at the 100 yards for the standing. So being as I just destroyed my target, I'm gonna move on to 200 and repeat that drill. But I'm gonna break my shooting position and start over. This is gonna help me develop that muscle memory on what I need to do to get into position quickly. So when I'm on a hunt, everything is more natural. Impact. When it comes to shooting off positions from the sitting or the kneeling, there's typically a couple of pieces of equipment that we're gonna have in the gear. We're gonna have a backpack, and if you're like me, you're gonna have a tripod. For me, the ultimate for either sitting or kneeling positions is always to have a tripod because I can couple that also into standing. So for this drill, I'm gonna practice sitting off the backpack. I'm gonna shoot at 220 yards, and I'm gonna shoot at 520 yards. I'm gonna do the same thing off of the tripod kneeling as well. Impact. So this was very stable and adequate in order for me to break, you know, a really successful 220 yard shot. Again, if I were practicing this at home, I wanna break the position in between each round, rebuild the position and re-engage. So now let's go on out to 520 yards and see how we rate there. What I'm finding right now at 520 with this backpack rest, I'm having a really hard time controlling my reticle on the target. And that's gonna make it to me, if I were in a hunting situation right now, I would pass on taking this shot. Missed just off the left edge. So let me replicate the same thing with a more stable tripod and we'll see how we rate with that. impact. By taking different setups and practicing different ranges, you're going to understand your limitations and your equipment's limitations long before you head into the field.